Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another SketchUp, sorry, Photoshop cooking class. And with this, this is part B of our rendering for an elevation. Um, part one, we went through, we worked with adding a color to the wall. We used our gradient tool to show tone difference. We did a bit of dodge and burn, and we've sort of isolated some area. One area that still seems to be a little bit strong is in the ceiling. This probably would not be quite this white. So I'm just going to select this area with my magic wand. Just try to complete that selection. I'm not sure why I have those little sections in there, but it doesn't matter. I can fix it. So now I'm just going to go in and do my burn and dodge a little bit in through here. We're just trying to give it a little bit of differential tone. just to break up that white effect. So I thought that will work out pretty well. We'd like to look at maybe putting in some lighting. Um, we could we could uh, we could have some pot lights set up down here. We have a light source here. We also have lots of area for putting a little bit of bling in here. So uh, just Control D to delete this. I could also um, dupl I think I'm going to duplicate this layer here, so that if I'm not happy with it, if I have to, I can come back to the original layer. So now I'm going to look at doing some of my lighting. So I go into filters, and I look at my render, and I'll look at a bit of lens flare. Okay, so. Um, probably need to maybe isolate a few areas here. If I, uh, if I put my movie prime in here, that's probably pretty good there. Do another one on the other side. Um, just, you know, it's, it's anything that would be a reflective surface. This works really, really nice with. Um, I'm going to go into my different light sources now. So if I go into render and light effect, go back to my two o'clock spotlight. So a light kind of has a So if I that light there is it's a little bit hard to maybe just just try that out to see what happens. So you can see I need to move that up a little bit. So I'll edit, undo the lighting effect, filter, render. So I'm just going to move that up just a little bit. And I'm going to increase my ambience because I don't want it to be because it's probably not working out quite as well as I want here. So I'm just going to maybe do a lay a selection for the area. So I'll just undo that again, and I'm just going to.
So I've got that light coming off the bottom, and now I'm going to try to have some light come off the top as well. So I'm just going to, again, select this area here. So now I've got a light source coming up off the top. I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. I'm also going to do a um, some light sources coming from here. So I will just... Uh, This time I'm going to go to three down. And what this does is it just gives me the opportunity to work with three lights at the same time. So I don't have to. I'm just going to increase the ambience because I want to have that effect. But I also don't want to have everything totally washed out. Okay, so I've got three light sources through here. We did uh, a little bit of work with just darkening off that area, and I've added a light source here. Again, we could also put a little bit of a bulb effect in here by using our filters uh, with our 50 or our 100. So you sort of get the idea that that helps with the light source. Put one on the other side. I haven't put the top and bottom part on, but I think you understand what I'm getting at here. So again, I'll do the lens of flare and put that right in there again. And so again, you've got the idea that there's this, a light source happening from here. So this really helps to develop this. Uh, it's making a little bit more a feeling of if you look at the original render if I take you down to here you can see we went from there to here or even without the lighting with the lighting much much more effective and again if you have ceiling lights to work with it really makes it nice and really adds a lot to it so uh, have some fun and we'll see you in our next tutorials thank you